This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Hello, fellas. We here at James Mansfield's YouTube channel care a lot about your personal grooming, especially your grooming down there. That's why we're proud to partner with Manscaped. Manscaped offers the perfect package. Bursting at the seams with goodies like the Lawnmower 3.0 the crop preserver and crop reviver like smelling good of course you do you're not a slob try the manscaped refined cologne say it with me refined embarrassing nose and ear hair don't worry manscaped has you covered with the weed whacker use code james20 for 20 percent off your purchase plus free shipping get manscaped today i love you James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, it has been a bit of an absence. I was in Las Vegas. Yes, I began the process of moving from my stuff from Milwaukee to Las Vegas. Yes, yes, yes. I also celebrate my birthday, you know, keeping it nice and cute and, you know, safe. So just bear that in mind. I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be doing. No house parties for me. No, 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 no. Oh, great. You're back. <laughs> so... I decided why not come back with a bang. And what happened over this weekend was something I did not expect. They released the trailer to that new Disney like prequel origin backstory of a villain. You know that subgenre that Disney's been doing lately? Well, they released the trailer for Cruella. Yes, starring Emma Stone. I watched the trailer and I don't exactly know how I feel about it yet, but I thought, why not seize an opportunity? So I'm going to do a wig recreation inspired by Cruella. Deville, or an evil white hair, black haired woman who wants to kill puppies. Depends what I can use in that title because you know Disney is cray cray. So I'm going to use a half black and half white wig and we're going to do our best to recreate a drag form of Cruella Deville. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am back. Now it's time to start our style or the setup for our style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl this way because it is in a straight pattern. It does not have a curl pattern to it, so I can't go off of what's there already. So I have to put something in there. So I'm going to take some rollers and I'm going to roll this going downward like that so we have a center part. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And guys, when I say I just got home from Vegas, I mean, I literally just got home from Vegas. Like same day, Amazon Prime, next day shipping, James Mansfield, okay? That's what's going on right now. But I'm happy to be back and making a video for you folks. Yes, I am. I meant to do one while I was in Vegas, but time just got away from me, as well as resources. Oh my God, let me tell you what I actually had planned, okay? It's gonna sound so stupid. All right, so I had a wig that I could have possibly like taken apart and styled for you folks, but the only problem is I didn't have a wig head. Now, the thought crossed my mind, like why not just style it on my head? But then I realized I didn't have any tools with me either nor good hairspray, nor good lighting, nor a good camera, or a means to edit said video had I gotten home. So it probably would have been a huge disaster, but I was playing around with ideas. So I found some bubble wrap and I found a roll of duct tape and a bunch of like, you know, grocery bags. And I stuffed them all together to create like a canvas block shape. And I started taping around the block and it actually seemed like it would have worked, but I didn't have any pins. So like, I would have had a, you know, a of, you know, a fake canvas block, but no way to put the hair on top of the block. So yeah, I don't know, it's some weird, it's some full on like, you know, Bear Grylls MacGyver kind of and it would not have been cute. <laughs> Maybe I'll, if I ever find myself in the woods with a camera crew, we can do that. We can do, you know, how to survive on a desert island and do drag. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna roll the rest off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I am back. Now let's take the wig down. I got the curling pattern all there. There we go, cute. That came out really good. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what the back is gonna look like. Now mind you, I curled this and steamed this off camera as I always do because you guys see me do this a million times. Videos down there if you wanna see how I do it. It's not news to you folks anymore. It's like putting on eyelashes at this point. We all know how to do it. <laughs> at least I should hope so. If you don't, the resources are there. All right. Now let's take these down because I needed the little like finger waves and the back I'm not doing too neatly because I'm going to end up cutting a lot of it anyway and teasing it down. So it is what it is. Cruella DeVille has a very short hairstyle. So I don't think this is actually going to take me that much time today. I feel like it's going to be a relatively short style, but a lot of it is mostly like teasing and a little bit of more smoothing in the front. 
but the back can really be as wild as you want it to be. Cause Cruella de Vil ranges from like very put together to like insane, depending on like, you know, what time of the day it is or what she's doing. <laughs> now, I have to say, I loved 101 Dalmatians as a kid. I loved the movie. I loved the short lived little animated series that was on, you know, Saturday mornings. Oh my God. And it had like the really like weirdly designed Cruella de Vil with the short bob, like really, really tapered in. I think she had like puppy spots in her bob. So good, so good. <laughs> also, I like what I really like about Quilla Deville is that the references that she's based on. I don't know if this is exactly true. But one of the people that inspired the character was Tulula Bankhead. Yes, Tulula Bankhead was supposedly one of the big major inspirations for Quilla Deville, among other ladies. Like she's very broad, very Broadway, very much one of those darling actresses. <laughs> I talked about Tulula before on this channel, but. Any excuse I get to talk about Tula Bankhead, I will take it, okay? Because she's one of my favorites. We are almost there. Let's take these curls down. Talk a little bit more about old body ladies from Broadway. Yes. All right, let's see how our curls look. There's a little bit of bleed over. And with hairs that are half black and half white, you're gonna have to like, it's really the give and take. It's as much as you want in there and as little as you want. And if you really want to take the time and pick the hair off the other side and put it to the other side, go for it, girl. Otherwise, allow the bleed over and don't focus too much on that. Now, I am going to cut the hair. I'm gonna start little at a time. So let me just cut off about five to six inches in the back. She's about good. That's a good starting point. A little bit there. And the back, we're gonna drastically like layer as we go. But this is a good starting point for now. now I do my best to get as much of the sections divided as possible. Like I said, don't focus too much on that because Cruella DeVille's hair relatively isn't that neat anyway. Like there's a lot of bleed over on each section. And the more meticulous you are with it, the longer it's gonna take you. So it just depends on like what you have time for and what you're willing to put up with. If you wanna go through and pick every single hair out, go for it, but we're on a time crunch today. <laughs> We're gonna be doing Cruella de Vil as she's like in the car, falling apart, chasing them after the puppies. That's always my favorite anyway, and her eyes glow. Oh, so good. Oh, I loved her growing up. Like, you, you're not supposed to because like her whole motivation is I'm gonna kill a bunch of puppies and make a coat out of them. But oh my God, was she fabulous before all that, you know, started to unfold. <laughs> And like I said, like she was based on like those body actressy, you know, Broadway divas at that time is what they're kind of referencing with her. And Tula Bankin was very big on that too, where like she wore lots of big fur coats and was very eccentric. And at that time, it sort of was like an easy, you know, caricature to make of a woman like that. Someone who's very outspoken, very body, kind of what we would describe as like very fabulous today. Back then it was really something they like, raised their eyebrows at because it was a male dominated business and when women were very outspoken, they tended to become the butt of jokes or the subject of villainy in a lot of works. And the 90s movie kind of rewrote her a little bit where it was like, you know, proto Devil Wears Prada Miranda Priestly type where she was a fashion mogul, which was like perfect, tailor made for that kind of character because you didn't really know what Corilla did before. She seemed like she was an actress of sorts. And like the woman, the, the leading lady in the film was like, you know, her assistant. It's been a long time since I watched it. I probably should have watched it on Disney Plus, but watching cartoons, I don't have time for it anymore. But you know, it is what it is. I'm going based off my own memory, so I might get a few things wrong. And I'm sure you in the comment section will correct me. I know you love to do that. <laughs> but I, say, I didn't really like the Glenn Close version as much as everyone else did. Maybe I should rewatch it and see if it sticks with me differently. But when I was a kid, it did not hold my interest very much. Maybe it'll hit different now that I'm older. That night, I was never really a big fashion gay, as you guys already know on this channel. Fashion was never something that really piqued my interest a whole lot or fascinated me. I just kind of found fashion sort of boring. <sighs> All right, now I'm gonna tease the rest of this off camera. I'll be right back and we'll talk a little bit more about villainy and fur coats. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I am back. Now I teased out each side all over the wig. It is all teased out. Now it's time to go through with our scissors and just start clipping. Now the front, I'm gonna trim a little shorter and just start just trimming hair. Making it the shortest near the back of the head. Probably about like four to five inches. 
I wouldn't go any shorter than that unless you have a really small head. And this is all teased up anyway, so the second we start brushing through it, some hair will come back and we'll just basically be repeating the process. And like I said, with Cruella, it's fun because you can get a little messy with it. It doesn't have to be completely pristine unless you're going for like a very, very formal look, which even then, when she's formal, her hair is still kind of spiky and kind of going everywhere. It shows she's stylish, you know? That's what I really like about it. It's like messy, but with intent. Like the hairdresser had a real good time clipping that. Trying to clip your fingers, good Lord. <sighs> now, I don't know how I feel about this Emma Stone retelling. I like Emma Stone, don't get me wrong. Like I love her, I think she's fabulous. Easy A is one of my favorites. I just don't know how I feel about Cruella getting an origin story. Especially, like, I hope they're not planning to make her sympathetic because she's like one of the last really true evil people in that Disney universe. And it's like, how do you go back from I want to kill a bunch of puppies to make a coat? Like, that's a real hard one to sell, kids. Just saying. I'll be interested to see how they're going to do it, and I will be watching. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely going to be one I'm going to look out for. And I won't be surprised if it doesn't get great reviews. Just saying. It's not going to really start shock me that much. You know, I could be wrong because like I remember Birds of Prey and like Harley Quinn and everything. Like when I saw Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn, I completely wrote it off. But then like the Harley Quinn film Birds of Prey totally won me over. So who knows? I like to be wrong. I am quite often, but I would like to be wrong on this. Kind of like when that Charlie's Angels remake came out. I wanted desperately for it to be good and then it wasn't. And I was just, the disappointment is really what hurts the most. <sighs> okay. She's getting cropped up to a, almost kind of looks like her at this point. Very, very messy. So let's try and clean it up a bit. Start with one side and go down the line. And like I told you, it's gonna like get longer as you go. So you clip it as you progress. And keep some long if you have to, you know? It's completely up to you. Get this front section to root down. What I'm doing here is I'm just making sure there's a good solid base of teasing here to keep the hair still. Because when it has to go back and flare up like that, wherever your roller was, it may cause an obvious break in the hair. It's not gonna be very flattering to look at, so it's just something to consider. And you can usually clean those up with just a little bit more teasing and smoothing. Because what I'm most concerned about right now is making sure it's like a nice, clean part of the hair going back in the front. Because the ends are going to go any which way you want to. Those can get crazy. But you really want the structure and the base to be nice and solid, especially if you don't plan to wear this a lot, you know? In which that movie's coming out, these wigs are going to be everywhere. Jump on it, girl. Now, this isn't one of my wigs. Like, I got this wig and it's kind of everywhere. So I didn't really bother getting it. You can find Corella Devo wigs everywhere. And they all kind of vary in like whether or not the quality is good or not. So like I didn't really bother with it, but if you guys like it, let me know. Maybe I'll look into, you know, getting some. But yeah. But with my own custom hairline by Ernie Ray. Not that you find on Amazon. No, no, no. Never me, girl. Okay. So yeah. Like I said, that's what you want it to look like for the start. Like it should be nice and smooth, for, like from here up. And then it can get wild and crazy at the ends. It can go flare out or it can go in different directions. It's up to you, you know, you decide what the occasion is. <sighs> okay, let's do our other side. And for some reason, the dark hair is usually more agreeable than the light hair. I think it's just because like dark hair just hides so much more flaws than the other one does. Oh no, I see a hairspray break. I take that back. <laughs> do the same thing. Oh, you guys don't know, a part of me was just like, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. But no, I came back and I decided I'm gonna style it because I'm not a quitter. We are gonna do this tonight and it's gonna be fabulous. We're almost there. We just gotta get the front looking right and the back is honestly so easy. And I've done the back similar in so many other videos, so you should be up to par with it by now, or at least know where to go with it if you're following along at home. Now you don't have to do like a clean divide if you don't want to. These wigs, it's like almost a crime not to do that, but you can definitely have fun with it and just go different directions with it. Like I said, if you're doing Cruella, no one ever says it has to be exactly how Disney did it. Have a little fun with it. They're definitely taking some creative liberties with the hair in this new movie. 
which I'm glad because like half black, half white hair can get so boring after a while. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of smoothing in the front and I'll be right back. We'll do the styling on the back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now for the ends, what I'm doing is I'm just collecting some of the hair and with my hand, I'm gonna divide it up like that and just comb out at the ends. And whatever tails are there, if it's too long, you take your scissors and trim it and that should clean up the end for you. Just like that, gorgeous. Spray it if you must, but you don't have to. You can keep going and spray it at the end. That's you, honestly. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Like I said, just keep doing that. And any which direction, whatever you think will make the hair look the prettiest. And like I said, it doesn't have to be like, you know, fully like finger wavy like that. It can go completely nuts. Just really over hairspray the ends and make it stringy, depending on like, you know, what you're going for. It could be dressy, it could be messy, it could be crazy. It's Cruella DeVille, you know, there's many different facets you can go with this. And like, I like it for the most part because like a lot of her hairstyles also channel like, you know, sort of evil women characters or like evil women in history as far as like the 1960s and stuff goes like if you look at like very very conservative like women they always had like those weird helmet hairstyles or like the curls in the front to frame their face it's like a big solid helmet some of her hairstyles read sort of like that depending on what the occasion was but for the most part they're usually like spiky bobs or spiky you know pixies that are inverted just all sorts of craziness Oh, so pretty. Like I said, have fun with the hairspray and the ends and just play around with it. The front can be any way you want it to be. There's really no wrong answer here. And like I said, when you trim the curls like that, it tends to make the hair flare up and sort of curl up at the ends. And you can have a lot of fun playing around with those. That's one of my favorite things about doing short styles is like as soon as you start cutting it and playing around with the curls at the end, you can get some really cool hair shapes out of it. All right, now for the back. Now the back is gonna be super, super easy. You see me do this before. Go with your wet spray. Actually, first things first. Go with your pick and just start pick combing it down, making sure it's packed in. Even it out if you can, but it doesn't really matter. And you can see there's some tails here from where I cut. Those are what we're gonna play around with. And if there's any stray hairs that are too long, we're going to trim them. We're gonna do a lot of more ending hairspray. Hairspray. And play around with the curls. And if you see sections that are too long, like there you go, it's the section right there. Trim it. Play around with your fingers and dig in it. Flip around those curls. Create different direction. Flare the bottom to give it a nice frame at the back. Finishing spray. And by doing that, you get a nice, big, voluminous hairstyle. And it's only one wig. Again, if you wanna play around with it and make it cleaner in the sections, by all means, go ahead or just do, you know, white and black hairspray. That's also an option. <laughs> but that is done for the most part. Look at her. That is cute. Now I'm gonna do some finishing touches off camera and I'll be right back with the final <laughs> result. Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> now that's the style I'm really used to doing anyway. It was like, I just you know, did a variant to do like the down middle part for Cruella DeVille, but I love it. This is one of those hairstyles, like no matter what color it is, it is always so nice and flattering to the face. Oh my God. Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The Jane's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And I would like to take a moment, a then moment, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Natalie. Thank you for the birthday wish. Jai Mo. Philip. Oh my gosh. Oh, Leo. James and Ken A. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much. And happy 11th anniversary. Holy crap. Thank you. Sergio. Vanessa. And Andrew. I also have some PayPal monies. I would like to thank Oliver, Susan, Heather, and Moxie. <laughs> thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the PayPal monies. <laughs> now this wig was so much fun to recreate. I hope you guys learned a lot about you know Disney and Cruella Deville and like old campy actresses that said "darling" a lot. 
If you have any other requests, let me know down below. I'm always listening. I'm always open for, you know, ideas and suggestions. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and watch me get ready to watch TV. Watch me use Gorilla Glue as finishing spray. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll replace your parachute with forks and knives. So click it. <laughs>